Now we hit enter, and lo and behold, we have an. Well, we hit. We say yeah. We have a bit of an error. Uh, permission denied, public key. Apparently it's got a problem with our public keys. Yeah, they added a cool complication to GitHub, which makes it more difficult. You have to go into the settings and do these things, but not anymore. Now, you install a gem called Gas. It's uber cool. And that will install, and that, that stands for Git Author. Git Authors. Or get author. Uh, it's it's not juggler. It's like get author. Something or other. All right. It it allows you to change your get authors very quickly. Now we're going to create a new author. Gas add uh, njx. Good old njx. And the name is actually notary sojack. And then. We, uh, no, no email, no mail.com, no thank you. Uh, now, it's going to ask you, do you want to handle switching RSA keys for this user? Spam the enter key until you get to your destination. Now is your opportunity. You're going to hit enter twice. Um, you have to type, oh, this is why it's still in my copy buffer. Okay, cool. You need to type the name of your uh, GitHub account. I'm not stealing it, I swear, honest. And then you type in the password. I'm totally not stealing it. You can check the source code. It's all on GitHub. It looks great, looks fine, and fantastic. I'm going to type in that password. P A S S W O R D. I think I chose three. And, and now it's posting the key, your public key, onto GitHub. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so cool. Now, type gas use njax. And that's going to use... Okay, so now that that's handled, um, let's see if we can actually upload to get git push dash u master origin. Oh yeah! It works! It, fr it freaking worked! I want to use very profane language. Uh, but... Wow, it works. So that's all you had to do. You didn't have to go, and I'll show you the long way. Here's what the little git thing did for you. It went, oh, hit F5 to refresh the page, and here's woohoo, uh, your big commit, initial commit, and you see main right here, and you can look at it, and variables, uh, Ruby, and then it says puts hello world of variables, uh, which would of course output to the screen, so on and so forth. That's the beauty of Git. But not only that, check this out. Uh, you have this little link, and you can tell your little octopus buddies, hey, check out my cool thing. See, da ba ba ba. All right, see, new. We're just gonna, oh, make dir, new, cd new. Okay, we're in a fresh new directory, and you can just tell your octopus buddies, hey, dude, write in some code, it's sweet, it's in Ruby, and it looks fantabulexcellent. And so, you do this, git clone, and you send them this link and be like, git clone this link, and it'll take you to awesome. And they do it on their end. All right, just hit enter. Oh, shoot. All right. Okay, you don't, I don't know why I asked for a password. Upper cool. All right, and it, yeah, sure enough, it put the code right there, and you can, your little octopus buddy can now type ruby main.rb, and it says hello world of ruby, and suddenly you're sharing code like a pro. That is sweet. That is very cool. And it's made even easier with gas, the uh, cool gem that Wally made he invented it, and then I was like, there's a feature in there I want, and I made it. And then because he's on GitHub, it happened. This is really happening. So this is like the future of humanity right here. So, um, yeah, to see all of your, oh yeah, and the key thing is, what if you have two accounts on one computer, two GitHub accounts? There are times where it does happen, and you shouldn't ever go over the 0.3 uh, gigabyte limit because you're limited on GitHub to use only 0.3 gigabytes. Do not.
do not exceed that unless you're like you know you buy the extra the extra space because otherwise uh, Linus will come to your house and he will punch your mouth um, secondly okay so now gas did a lot of things under the scene it actually went into this God, <laughs> this directory on your computer your SSH directory, and it made this key here, the ID-RSA, and it made this ID-RSA.pub, and then it took that public key, okay, it does, it does really wild stuff, all right, it made, on your computer, this little directory, and when we added NJAX, it created those keys, and then we, when we, we used, well, when we used, uh, NJAX in gas, it put those keys here, and it's just it's just very cool. And then it, it told uh, SSH, it told the, uh, what? Oh, right, you know, it told a little command called SSH-add to, uh, to add those keys to its little um, session as they call it, which is in memory, and then the next time an SSH connection was attempted, when we tried to push up to GitHub, it sent those keys to GitHub, and it said, hey, we have privileges, and so on and so forth. But the super special thing is, it took those keys that were here and here, and when we spammed our under key, when we were creating that user, that gas user, and it went into our online account when we typed in our password. I didn't steal that password, I swear. It went into our account, it went down here, and it was like SSH public keys, and then it put this here. This key here is this key here. Okay, where is the key? Right here. Yeah, it copied, the, it did that for you. How cool is that? Especially if you're new to this game, um, that's just going to take an extra thing off your head. So I'm going to tell an art designer right now to get on GitHub, and they're going to use gas, and it's going to be an easy peasy breeze. And thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, what else was I going to say? Uh, nothing else. That That is all. Goodbye.